2022 is about 32 hours away now, and as millions prepare to celebrate the new year, crews in New York City were out testing the iconic New Year's Eve ball just to make sure all the systems are a go. It's a smart thing because of the pandemic. The celebration in Times Square is being scaled back, and that is happening everywhere. Some places even canceling events, including in Providence, where you won't see scenes like this one. The capital city canceled their event now for the second year. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts joining us live in studio with how businesses are adapting. Amanda. Well, after 2020, business owners thought 2021 would be the year when we could celebrate New Year's Eve like normal, but now that's not the case. They're having to scale back celebrations and some canceling altogether. It's depressing, you know, the, the surge now is becoming difficult for us. One Providence, the capital city's official kickoff to the new year, won't be happening in 2021. So New Year's will be a little bit different this year. Last year we didn't get to do anything, so it'll be scaled down. There won't be a ball drop like we usually do. There won't be fireworks, but you know, we'll still try to do it as best as possible. Inside will be fun. A city spokesperson said the decision was made months ago before the current surge as a precautionary safety measure due to COVID. The city instead funded smaller outdoor events like the City Hall tree lighting. Two, one. For Mike Mata, CEO of Skyline at Water Place, where the event takes place, it's a big loss. But he's still holding a celebration inside his venue. Traditionally, we have about 550 people inside and we have about 10,000 people outside. So this year, you know, obviously nothing outside and we're going to look at 150 possible uh, on the inside. He said vaccine cards and masks will be required and both floors will be used so people can space out. Another difficult winter season due to the pandemic is making it hard for business owners like Mata. He's closed his Smithfield restaurant Lola Cantina for the entire month of January. It's really not us scaling back. It's really just people not coming out. It trickles down to our vendors. It trickles down to our employees, us as as business owners. You know, we're dealing this is now going on year two, three. You know, it's becoming more and more difficult for sure. But the party must go on and still will at Skyline Friday night. You know, and we still have a fabulous skyline. We don't have the fireworks, but, you know, we still have a fabulous skyline. We'll be playing the fireworks on the TV, uh, Times Square. So it's still a great time to get people to come out of the house and enjoy. Now, we spoke to the Rhode Island Hospitality Association on what they're hearing from businesses and consumers ahead of New Year's Eve. I'll have more on what they had to say coming up on 12 News Now at 5. Live in studio, Amanda Pitts, 12 News. New Year's Eve events across the state are being scaled down, even canceled as coronavirus cases surge. The popular One Providence event in the capital city won't be happening for a second straight year due to the pandemic. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts joins us live in studio with how local businesses are adapting. Amanda? Well, after 2020, business owners thought 2021 would be the year when we could celebrate New Year's Eve like normal, but now that's not the case. They're having to scale down celebrations, but the Hospitality Association says they're hearing that people still want to go out and celebrate. Well, it's been a never ending roller coaster. A roller coaster for the hospitality industry amid another difficult winter season due to the latest COVID surge. But despite the gloom ahead of New Year's Eve, I still see that people are optimistic and are ready to celebrate. Dale Venturini, president of the Rhode Island Hospitality Association, says while some New Year's Eve events are being canceled, there's still a want among Rhode Islanders to leave the house. Some of them are small cancellations. Most of the cancellations are in any of the bigger events, but I do feel that that the customers are still wanting to go out and enjoy. And they're just having to take a, a little bit more, uh, some more you know, precautions. One of those cancellations is One Providence, the capital city's official kickoff to the new year. There won't be a ball drop like we usually do. There won't be fireworks, but you know, we'll still try to do it as best as possible. Inside will be fun. A city spokesperson said the decision was made months ago before the current surge as a precautionary safety measure due to COVID. The city instead funded smaller outdoor events like the city hall tree lighting. Two, one. For Mike Mata, CEO of Skyline at Water Place, where the event takes place, it's a big loss, but he's still holding a celebration inside his venue. Traditionally, we have about 550 people inside and we have about 10,000 people outside. 
So this year, you know, obviously nothing outside, and we're going to look at 150 possible uh, on the inside. With vaccine cards in hand and masks on, Mata says the party will go on. You know, and we still have a fabulous skyline. We don't have the fireworks, but, you know, we still have a fabulous skyline. We'll be playing the fireworks on the TV, uh, Times Square. So it's still a great time to get people to come out of the house and enjoy. Now we've compiled a list of New Year's Eve celebrations happening across the state tomorrow. You can find that on WPRI.com right now. Live in studio, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.